Solar power generation includes tapping the sun's energy to generate electricity via photovoltaic, PV, system, heat, or hot water. Compared to the other energy generation methods, solar energy has posed obvious environmental advantages and considered as the linchpin of any sustainable deployment program. Solar energy does not burden greenhouse gas or other toxic emissions into the atmosphere and it does not release any solid or liquid wastes. More than 90% of the global concentrating solar power CSP plants have employed parabolic trough technology to convert solar energy to electricity. However, the worldwide largest CSP project, Ivanpa Solar Power Facility in the United States by 392 megawatts electricity generation, works based on solar power tower technology. Parabolic trough is a set of concave mirrors that concentrate solar rays on the receiver tube that is located in the focus. These troughs can track the sun, around one axis, typically oriented north-south, to ensure the highest possible efficiency. The fluid flows through this tube, and absorbs heat from the concentrated solar energy, then, the green electricity will be generated by a steam turbine. Similar to a parabolic trough is a linear Fresnel system. These collectors resemble parabolic troughs but use long flat Fresnel mirrors. This technology is much cheaper to install but has lower efficiency. Flat or slightly curved mirrors mounted on trackers on the ground are configured to reflect sunlight onto a receiver tube, fixed in space above the mirrors. A small parabolic mirror is sometimes added atop the receiver to further focus the sunlight. CSP technologies use mirrors to reflect and concentrate sunlight onto a receiver. The energy from the concentrated sunlight heats a high temperature fluid in the receiver. This heat, also known as thermal energy, can be used to spin a turbine or power an engine to generate electricity. It can also be used in a variety of industrial applications, like water desalination, enhanced oil recovery, food processing, chemical production, and mineral processing. Hybrid Solar Gas Turbine Power Generation A gas turbine is hybridized to a solar tower, and the combustion air is preheated. In these conditions the efficiency of the gas turbine increases up to 30%. In this system, since the preheated air is conducted to the combustion chamber, the rate of NOx formation is very high. The negative effect of NOx on the environment is 320 times more than CO2. Therefore, to make this system clean, NOx should be captured. Hybrid Solar Combined Cycle Power Generation Since the temperature of the gas turbine exhaust gases is very high, it is possible to recover heat by a heat recovery steam generator. The produced steam will be conducted to a steam turbine, and additional electricity will be generated.
PV materials and devices convert sunlight into electrical energy. A single PV device is known as a cell. An individual PV cell is usually small, typically producing about 1 or 2 watts of power. These cells are made of different semiconductor materials, and are often less than the thickness of 4 human hairs. To withstand the outdoors for many years, cells are sandwiched between protective materials in a combination of glass or plastics. PV modules and arrays are just one part of a PV system. Systems also include mounting structures that point panels toward the sun, along with the components that take the direct current electricity produced by modules, and convert it to the alternating current electricity used to power all of the appliances in your home. Decentralized solar energy systems provide direct benefits to local communities because they provide obvious economic and social benefits to their owners. For example, they can sell the excess power back to the grid and therefore alleviating their electricity bills. CPV systems use lenses or curved mirrors to focus sunlight onto small, highly efficient, multi-junction solar cells to increase the solar system efficiency. CPV systems often use solar trackers and sometimes a cooling system to further increase their efficiency. Among solar energy technologies, CPVT systems have an important place, due to directly converting solar energy to electricity, and using the waste heat of PV modules, and consequently their very high efficiency. In a CPVT system, the solar wavelengths between 200 to about 900 nanometer are converted to electricity and the wavelength more than 900 nanometer and less than 2500 nanometer are converted to Therefore, using a CPVT system, both electricity and domestic hot water will be available.